Michelle, I am going to show you how you can buy and renovate this property using your private loan. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and today I am working with an investor named Michelle. Just so everyone knows, if you want to work with me in the same way Michelle is, send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, include your phone number, we'll give you a call, walk you through the process, or you can click the show notes below for more info. Now, Michelle, you had ordered four videos from me. Previously, I did one of them for you, all right? Where you're at, you work. You're living out of California. You work for a super wealthy uh, real estate investor, developer, okay? You're his bookkeeper, and he's loaning you $75,000. You got $75,000 to play with, okay? And you're getting started in your real estate career, right? Now, I made a video for you. Uh, it was a quad, a higher higher end quad in regards to like neighborhood quality than what we're going to be doing today okay so i sent this quad to you uh you would be using that seventy five thousand dollars he gave you as your down payment okay your feedback to me though was you were looking for more cash flow looking to see if you can make some more happen with that f that that funding uh than just sticking it in that quad which would be cash flow negative for you until you paid him off right and you wanted to go to higher risk assets to see what we can do so what I did is I scoured the area and I found you three properties uh, that, in my opinion, are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck from a cash flow perspective. So uh, this right here, is the three properties I'm going to be doing for you today, I'm going to break them up into three videos. This is the first one. Uh, the, the, this is as far as I could possibly stretch your funds with like what we have available for you in the Cleveland market, right? So without further ado, let's get into this bad boy. What we have here is a duplex, 3519 West 50th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Been on the market three weeks, CD neighborhood, pretty close to... Uh, pretty close to Metro Health, right? So we're going to be getting a billion-dollar injection in that neighborhood. So something, you know, that I would like to look into, you know, something good to own for the long haul, in my opinion, right? You're getting high-risk stuff, but that's what you're signing up for. Uh, but potentially, you're going to see some gentrification in this neighborhood, right? So 62.9, and it is is ugly. <laughs> it's really freaking ugly, okay? Um, we have one tenant in there. That tenant is paying... Three hundred fifty dollars a month, which is is just ridiculous. Okay, there there is a one bed unit, uh, and that unit should be renting for six hundred a month. And the other unit is a two one, and the market rent on that is seven fifty. So market rents for this puppy thirteen fifty a month, sixteen thousand two hundred a year. Now what you're looking at, this is the vacant two one, right? This is what we have to renovate and fill. And we got like the original one piece metal cabinetry. You got some crazy looking floors that just ain't gonna ain't gonna fly right so we got to do a full cosmetic reno in this particular unit now uh doesn't look horrible from here if we get closer we may need to repaint we may not like you can kind of see like there's some like something going on here you got broken uh blinds okay we don't supply those to the tenants right because they're so easy to break you supply them they break them what do they do they call you they want you to pay for more of it uh, we could probably utilize this carpet. Uh, typically, though, when people list these properties, you know, they, they take pictures in a way that you can't see any staining, okay? So I'm not 100% sure uh, what's going to be acceptable, what won't be acceptable. We may be able to get away with not repainting this unit and just rocking that carpet, which would be great. Uh, you know, save some money on the funding, but we definitely got to knock out this kitchen, right? We got a full reno in this kitchen, right? We need a vinyl or flooring, update this to, you know, Home Depot Lowe's quality type stuff, right? So that's got to get done. The bathroom, same thing. Like we, we can't, we can't rent any, like nobody's paying 750 if like this is their vanity. Like it's just not going to happen. I, like what's going on like back here, like this seems really freaking screwed up to me i don't know I, that doesn't seem efficient 
uh, or correct, right? So we're going to have to spend some money in there. You're going to need to spend some money on electrical, probably a couple thousand dollars on electrical, right? These are all outdated, right? We're going to have to update that. The roof looks like it's in pretty good shape. I believe the roof is newer, though, so we don't have to worry about the roof. Here is a shot of a one-piece. Uh, we're definitely going to redo that. That's the shower kitchen, uh, shower bathtub combo. Hot water tank appears to be in decent shape. Uh, this one, you know, probably midlife, right? These cost a thousand bucks to replace. I don't know if you need to replace it immediately, but in the near future, you'll need to replace that, right? And then you got this furnace, which is just ancient. Uh, currently, I'm told it works, but eventually you need to replace this, okay? They only usually last about 30 years. You're like in extra innings here, right? You know, baseball games, nine innings, but sometimes they go 14. You know what I'm saying? That's where you're at here. So, you know, if it's still working, you don't got to mess with it, but... When it goes down, you need to drop $3,000 immediately to replace it. There's no point in spending any money fixing up that furnace, all right? Uh, there's your gas meters, and then out here, this is the backyard. Note, there is no garage. Do not worry. That is not an issue. Uh, we're dealing with, like, 100-year-old housing stock here in the Cleveland market. That's where the garage used to be. You take all these little old lean-to garages. When they get dilapidated, people don't take care of them. It's cheaper, more cost-efficient just to remove them. Uh, if you wanted to rebuild a new garage, which I do not recommend, the cost is like 20 k You will not get more in rent than what I've told you. It will not make your unit, like, marketably better to tenants so it is just cost prohibitive to redo the garages it's becoming almost the norm for there to be no garage here in cleveland the city does not make you replace them we do have some suburbs that do uh cleveland does not though okay so that's what we have right one unit's empty got to renovate the other one now and then the other one has got a tenant in there paying 350 but market rent is 750 600 So we're going to aim to get the uh, vacant unit totally done. Uh, may not really need to do too much cosmetically. It's mainly going to be us in the kitchen and the bath. And then in addition, we're going to possibly in the near future, uh, first of all, immediately we want to do that electrical. That's a health hazard, safety hazard, right? May need to do that furnace. Uh, and then we have that $350 unit, right? We're going to want to not necessarily just go in and kick them out so you could renovate it, right? Let's keep them in there while we're renovating the other unit, right? Let's let's keep some money coming in. I understand the money's ridiculously small, but, you know, it's better than nothing, right? It doesn't hurt you uh, to collect their rent for a little while, right? And then we could probably slowly try to increase them, get them close to that 600 So what I did uh, for your initial... Uh, like analysis and number breakdown, giving you some type of return. What I have for you is I want us to try to get this property for a little bit cheaper than what they have listed. It. You know, they got it listed at 62.9. I want you to pick it up at 50. And then in the coming years, like the next like two years or so, I think you're going to spend about $25,000. Not necessarily saying you have to spend all $25,000 like immediately today when you buy it because you don't. We just have to spend a little bit to get a $750 se uh, Section 8 tenant in that unoccupied unit. Now, the other stuff, right, like we're going to spend that. Uh, you know, we may need to spend like 10 in that unit, maybe a little more, okay? Uh, we're going to spend a couple grand on the overall building's electrical, okay? We may need to do a furnace now. We may need to do a furnace six months. We may need to do a furnace in two years, right? So that's out there in the open. I don't think we need to worry about the roof, okay? As far as the other tenant, let's just keep collecting that money so we don't have to turn that unit over. It's a very small unit, so the cost isn't going to be too much, but, you know, they're paying 350 They don't got uh, an upgraded kitchen and bath, so that would just add more cost, right? So I think, realistically speaking, you're going to spend approximately 25000 on this property over the next couple of years, right? Now, Doing so, hopefully by then you're up to market rent, right? Maybe we've slowly gone up with that tenant, you know, 50 bucks here, 50 bucks a year later. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. If, if, if we haven't, you know, it's okay. The, the numbers are very close. But, like, running the numbers on a long-term basis with the the market rents here, you know, 1350, uh, $1,350 comes in. That's 16200 a year. means you're spending an average of eighty one eighty four, leaving you with a little bit over $8,000 uh, as far as your NOI. Now, at that point, too, like, if we when we finally do get this thing up to market rent, 
I think that would be the proper time for you to do a refinance, right? If you do a refinance at that time, if I got a $750 tenant in one unit, $600 tenant in the other, and, you know, the majority of my canicles are newer, you know, maybe we have a couple old hot water tanks, no big deal. I would have no issue selling that property for 85K, right? So we got a value of 85K. So at that point, if the bank appraises it for $85,000, they will give you back $63,750, right? You had spent everything your private investor lent you, right? He's loaning you $75,000. You spent the whole seventy five dollars up front. But when we finally do that refinance, you'll get $63,750 of it back, right? So you only stuck with 11 and a quarter into the deal. And now you got that 63 and three quarters to go on and do some more damage, do some more deals. So I think this property... Uh, it, it is more in line with what you were hoping to accomplish, right? You're really trying to take his private loan, get it, you know, do as much as you can with it, really start your investing career, right? I mean, this would kick off, you know, it's like a 42.7% return when you get all that money back. And now you got, you still got 63,000, you got one cash flowing asset, one notch in your belt, so to speak. And you could go out there and do some damage, uh, w with the other $63,000. So I thought this particular deal uh, would be something you're more interested in looking at, but I wanted to give you several options. So I'm going to make you video two and number three today. My whole day is dedicated to you just making sure we get you the right stuff. So I want you to watch video number two right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.